Weathering and Erosion by Mike McCauley, Tuolity Middle School, Tigard, Oregon. The Badlands. Well, Badlands, these are in uh, South Dakota. Uh, they're loose soils, um, uh, very erodible soils, and uh, they're caused by wind and water erosion. Um, our ancestors who came over on the covered wagons, those that did, uh, they didn't like going through them. They're very rutted roads and hard to get through and very dry. And so they called them Badlands, but that's probably a misnomer. This is a, a slump. A slump is a uh, slope failure caused by gravity. Some people would call it caused by mass movement. And uh, here's an example of, uh, of gravity at work. This is called soil creep. And the best way to notice soil creep, it's a very like it's like a slow motion landslide. You wouldn't even know it was going on except when you look at trees. Remember, trees like to grow towards the sun. And when you see a curved trunk like that, that tells you that, uh oh, soil creep is taking place and the slope is slowly moving downhill by the, the relentless pull of gravity. Uh, trees are very good at uh, uh, breaking up soil and breaking up rocks, as exampled in this uh, Douglas fir breaking up a, a boulder with its roots. Exfoliation. When uh, rocks peel off in layers, very similar to uh, you peeling a, maybe an orange or something like that, and uh, it's a very cool phenomenon. Also, you'll notice that there's some oxidation going on with that rock. Another example of exfoliation. Wind erosion, carbonation or acid rain. Um, this is limestone. It's uh, it's being rounded and shaped by eons and eons of uh, uh, carbonic acid. CO2 is leached out of the atmosphere uh, by water, and it goes through a transformation with some uh, sunlight added in, and becomes carbonic acid, and it slowly eats away the limestone. And here's another example with a guy in uh, Wyoming trying to hitchhike, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Uh, talus slope, uh, loose rock piling up at the base of a hill, and uh, very hard to walk up. Uh, some people would call that scree. You have to kind of walk at the angle of repose in order to, to get up the hill. And some more talus slope. Uh, drip irrigation. Uh, a lot of farmers trying to slow down soil erosion, and instead of spraying water overhead, you know, water is the chief agent of erosion, and so uh, they use drip irrigation. This uh, hose has lots of little holes in it, and it slowly leaks out the water and waters uh, the cherry crop in this case. And here we are talking about drip irrigation and how much water and energy it saves. Uh, waves down at the Oregon coast uh, do a lot of erosion, especially when we have lots of storms, and they have they have an incredible amount of energy, and they can turn uh, miles and miles of uh, soil into uh, into sand, and eventually out into the ocean, and and uh, there you go. Some more wave erosion. This is uh, twin rocks, big chunks of basaltic rock that have turned into sea stacks. Uh, lichens can also eat away uh, rock. This is down in Central America. And finally, gravity pulls rocks downhill. Eventually, these rocks will roll into the river and be eroded, and uh, the gravel and sand will eventually end up probably maybe clear to the ocean, if that's possible. The end.